Hey guys, how you doing? Today we're going to be having a look at the roast from last day under the sun by Volby. Okay, now tuning for the song is going to be standard E tuning. So get yourself in tune and let's have a look at the intro. Alright guys, now let's have a look at the intro. Now the intro is going to go like this. What we're going to be doing here essentially just we're going to be dealing with two chords the first one is the power chord on the fifth fret of the fifth string all right there's a full power chord we're going to be hitting that total of six times and then the seventh time you want to hit uh, uh the fourth fret on the fifth string the seventh fret on the fourth and then the sixth fret on the third it's kind of an altered power chord, essentially just the root, the 6, and then the octave of the root. So we're going to be doing... And you just kind of cut everything off till the next measure, in which you repeat this and do the same idea. You're going to do this for a total of 3 measures, so... And then a the fourth time... Fourth time you got a little ring gap, and this is where the bank comes in, and uh, now you can be changing things up. This is where we step into the verse. You're never gonna see this intro again in the entire song, uh, but um, it's only gonna be played in the intro. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. Anyway, after that, we're going to do a similar thing to it. We're going to be doing it a little bit higher, though. It's going to be on the 12th fret, and it's pretty much the exact same shape and idea. We're going to be doing... The only difference there is that in the third measure, at the end of it, you're going to do two scratches. So after you do this three times, after the third time, at the end of the measure, you're gonna do two scratches, and if you listen closely, you can hear those. Just two scratches leading into this little octave part. And this is going three hits on the 14th fret of the first string octave. If you don't know what an octave is, it's essentially just a power chord without the, the note on the fourth string, all right? So in this case, we're doing 14 on the fifth string and 16 on the third, all right? and the Note on the fourth string, there's not going to be really anything there, it's just muted by the flesh of the index finger. Alright, oh, this is going to be the shape we're going to be moving around here. So we're going to do three hits on the 14th fret of the first string octave. Then we go to the 12th fret octave and hit three hits as well. And then we're going to hit the 11th fret once and just hold it there for a second. And then... All the slides, we're going to slide 12, back to 11. And then 9, and then 7. Of course, we're still doing the exact same octave shape here, so it goes. So it would go. Alright, so the entirety of the verse so far, what we have. Now we're gonna have this part. All right, and what we're doing here essentially, we're gonna be hitting a power chord on the fifth fret. Uh, excuse me, in the fifth fret on the sixth string, and uh, this is gonna be not just a regular power chord. You're gonna do the power chord, a regular power chord, and then you're going to add a note to it, all right? And that note is going to be a major third on the... It's going to be the sixth fret of the third string, all right? So we have a little power chord with a major uh, third on top. We're going to hit that three times. And then we're just going to keep do going, but now we're going to do th three scra scratches after that. We're going to do three scratches. So it goes... All right? And now we're going to go now to the 10th fret of 6th string. We're going to hit an octave there. And uh, it's the same octave shape as we had on the 1st string. So 10 on the 6th. 
12 on the fourth. And the fifth string, the fifth string between is uh, muted. We're gonna slide backward to nine and then seven. So together. And now we're gonna do two more scratches leading us back exactly into the same part. So we just go back to over here and repeat the same thing over. So playing it uh, twice back to back. And now we're gonna do, now the la uh, two scratches are gonna lead us into a different part, which is uh, we had from before. And then to wrap up the verse, we're just gonna go, now the tone is gonna turn a little bit distorted, and we're gonna have, it's gonna be in power chords on the sixth string, we're gonna do the fifth fret power chord, and then a palm beat on the fifth fret of the sixth string. And then we're gonna do the seventh fret power chord twice, letting the string out the second time. All right, and this is pretty much the verse riff. It will just go back to the beginning and repeat. All right, so I'm gonna play the whole verse riff uh, from the beginning, and then we'll have another look at it slowly with some tabs. point you just repeat that again and then we go into the pre-chorus guys now the pre-chorus is essentially gonna be very simple essentially just some power chord strumming all right and we're gonna be starting off on the fourth fret of the first string power chord we're gonna strum that for a total of eight times an entire measure and then the fifth fret of the sixth string power chord and then after that the seventh fret of the fifth string power chord so what we have so far is 4th fret on the 5th, 5th fret on the 6th, and then 7th fret on the 5th. And that last one I just played is going to be the 7th fret on the 6th. And that's pretty much it. That's pre-chorus, just a uh, 4 chord, four power chord progression. Alright, so once again... Alright guys, now I'm gonna have that little nice chorus, and the chorus is essentially playing something very similar to the vocal melody, here's how it goes. Alright, very jolly, that's the first part. We're gonna be doing, we're gonna be dealing with a lot of uh, double stop mini chords here, so we're gonna be doing the first one. That's gonna be the second fret on the fourth, and the first fret on the third. You're gonna hit that, you're gonna hit those two notes, and then do two palm beats on the low open six string. Now we're gonna hit the power chord, and it's not really a full power chord, it's just the two notes. Second fret on the first string, and the fourth fret on the uh, fifth, uh, excuse me, the fourth, the fourth. So we just got, all right. You're gonna hold that for, there for a second, then you do you're gonna go back that initial chord, the two on the fourth string, one on the third, and then you're gonna play second fret on the fifth, second fret on the fourth. So we have. All right, so let's do that again. And now we're gonna do two palm beats on the low open sixth string, leading us into. All right, so that was that going there is we're gonna do uh, we're dealing with the same chords here that we just uh, went through. So the first one is going to be the little major one, 2-1. One. 
gonna hit twi uh, twice, letting the second time ring out a little bit more, and then we're gonna do the power chord in the second fret of the fifth string, going back to that chord, and then uh, the two on the fifths, two on the fourths. So it goes. All right. So to recap, what we have so far. And now we have one more palm mute at the end, so... Alright, what will happen after that is that you just repeat this again. So, repeating it twice, back to back, it would sound like this. Alright, now after that last palm mute on the low open 6th string, this is gonna, it's gonna kind of lead us into a similar uh, idea was what we just uh, had a very similar uh, rhythmic idea but it's gonna be with different chords and frets so we're gonna be doing this now and there's also a little bit of a lead lick that I decided to uh, uh, and, you know kind of teach you rather than playing the rhythm part when that lead lick is playing so it's gonna be So what we're doing there essentially we're gonna be hitting this chord it's gonna be the second fret on the fourth the third and the second and I'm palm eating the low open 5th string twice. Now we're going to have that, which is essentially... We're going to be playing the 2nd fret on the 4th, the 3rd, and then the open on the 2nd. So... And then we'll go... We'll bring our finger down on the 2nd string, the 2nd fret. So we'll have... And then we're just going to play the 2nd fret on the 4th and the 3rd. So is that the 2nd string now? So it would go... All right, so what we have so far is... All right, this is kind of like... Kind of the chordal version of this kind of melody. All right, you can kind of strip it down if you want. Uh, you know, maybe you can do in some instances two note chords instead of one, as long as you kind of keep the, the highest note uh, as it is. All right, but I'm going with this kind of like a little adding, uh, doing three note chords at some point. Now after that, you can do two palm mutes on the l low open fifth string, and then we're gonna do two hits on the uh, uh, two on the fourth string, the third string, and the second string chord. So we have so far. And now this is where the lead lick comes in. And only one guitar is playing this, you can kind of hear it in one of the speakers. It's going to be essentially... Sliding from the 2nd fret to the 4th fret on the 2nd string. Hammering to 5 and then pulling back to 4. And then we slide back to the 2nd fret. And then you want to kind of, you can pick this if you want or you can just pull off the open. All right, so to recap everything. All right, now after that we have, we're just gonna technically go back to the roof before this, the one that was on the other chords, the lower ones. All right, and uh, we're only gonna play it once and that would lead us into kind of This is just a simple chord progression where you're going to be letting the first three chords just string out for an entire measure. They're going to be the fourth fret on the fifth, the fifth fret on the sixth, and then the seventh fret on the fifth. So. And then the last chord, the seventh fret on the sixth string. We want to just strum that an entire eight times, all right? So let me recap the entirety of the chorus. It's technically three parts. We have this part. It goes over here. And then the, the part that's kind of like, like it, but a bit higher and using different chords. And also has the lead lick in there. And we have the last part, which is just the... 
little quotal part. All right, so let's recap all of that. Then we'll have another look at it slowly with some tabs. All right, now the second chorus, when the second com chorus comes around, it's pretty much the same as the first chorus, but at the end, leading into the bridge, when you're strumming that last chord, you're gonna do it like this. So you're only gonna strum that chord four times, and then after it, you're gonna do a palm mute hit, and then a palm mute hit. So, that's the only difference between chorus two and chorus one. And regarding the last chorus, uh, it's gonna be everything up until to the everything up until this point. You're actually gonna be playing that twice. All right, so the little chordal part, that part, you're gonna play the whole thing twice instead of going straight into. Okay, after that, you go into these chordal parts. And uh, essentially what we're going to be doing with these parts is... And this is just uh, simply... You g the first time when you're strumming the 7, you're going to do it the same way you did in the second chorus at the end. So 4 hits. One palm mute, one hit, one palm mute, one hit. And then the second time you do it, you're just gonna strum it eight times all the way. Now after that, we have kind of the outro, and the outro goes like this. It's kind of like the bridge riff to some extent, or excuse me, the pre-solo riff. So we're going to be starting off in the same way we would the, the pre-solo little riff. We're going to be doing... That's just going to be the 4th fret of the 5th string power chord. Uh, we're going to hit that for a total of 7 times and there's going to be a little bit of rest. And then another hit leading us into the next measure. So, Alright, in the next measure it's going to be 4 hits on that same chord. So... After it, we're gonna go to the fifth fret of the uh, sixth string power chord. We're gonna hit it, do a palm mute, and then hit the seventh fret power chord twice. And then the same exact idea going nine seven in power chords on the sixth string. So we have. And then the 7th fret of the 1st string power chord, let that ring out, and that's pretty much the outro chorus variation as well as the outro. Alright guys, now let's have a look at the bridge riff. Bridge riff is really easy, it's just some power chord strumming, again same as pre-chorus, but we're gonna be dealing with different chords here. It's just essentially the fourth fret of the fifth of the sixth string, excuse me, the fourth fret of the sixth string power chord for an entire measure, eight times. And then the fifth fret, seventh fret on the fifth string, 
and then the seventh fret on the sixth string. So we have. You would repeat this once, uh, I mean, excuse me, twice, you're gonna repeat this twice, and then you would go into the pre solo, and the pre solo is essentially just. Alright, and it's uh, very similar to what we talked about in the outro. In fact, uh, we're just gonna be doing the first measure twice. So, you're gonna do seven hits, rest, one hit leading us into the next measure, and then just repeat the same thing again. So. And then we just play the solo, and we already have a lesson on that. It's gonna be uh, a link. There's gonna be a link in the description below for all of our Volbeat lessons on this uh, on the channel. You can go and check out what we have on Volbeat. Alright guys, now let's have a look at uh, what comes after the solo, we're going to be looking at that uh, kind of uh, like clean part, which goes like this. I'm just going to be repeating over and over again. The repetitive chunk is essentially, uh, the first part of that repetitive chunk goes like this. It's gonna be seven on the fifth string, and then we're gonna do nine on the fourth, and then back to seven, and then we're gonna do six on the third, nine on the fourth, and then seven on the fifth. So, and then after that, we have that's going nine seven on the fifth, and then uh, six on the third. And then 9 on the 4th, and then back to 7 on the 5th. So we have... That, so both parts back to back. And of course, make sure you let everything ring out. You don't really want to mute anything. You want to let everything ring out together. Now, at the very, very last repetition of this, uh, you're only going to be playing the first uh, part. You're only going to do... And then there's going to be rest, and there's going to be that weird clock thing going on, alright? So the very last repetition of this, the very last time, you only play the first part, and then you stop, because there's going to be that little tick-tock thing, I don't fucking know, but you get the idea. Anyway, that's the clean part, and yeah. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this lesson for the roof from Last Day Under the Sun by Volbeat. Be sure to check out the description below. There's going to be a link for all of our Volbeat lessons on this channel. And if you have a request, whether it's a soul lesson or a roof lesson, leave it in the comments below. And happy shredding, guys.